What is the intuition behind principal component analysis? To understand the intuition behind PCA, we introduce two words, translation and rotation. And then we try to understand why we use PCA. That is, what is data visualization and dimensionality reduction. To explain PCA, let us take a small data set. It's a hypothetical data set. And we have two features in it. One is the built up area given in square feet and the other is the price given in lakhs. So when I say the built up area, the built up area of 498 results in a price of 14 lakhs. If I have a set of data values like this, how do I represent it in the form of a graph? I generally use what is called as a Cartesian axis. For the Cartesian axis, I have a reference point called the origin and then I have two perpendicular axes called the X axis and the Y axis. And then I plot my data points in such a manner that it reflects the distance from the X axis and the distance from the Y axis. This is the basic idea behind the Cartesian axis. Every data point reflects the distance. Now I can rotate that axis. So when I rotate the X and the Y axis, one way I can rotate it is given here. This is another way of rotating my perpendicular Cartesian axis. Again, back to the original Cartesian axis, I can make a translation. Look at the difference between rotation and translation. Rotation, I change the direction. Here, I do not change the direction of my X and the Y axis. I just move it from one place to another. Like this, I can have many number of translations. PCA is all about translation and rotation. We translate the axis in such a way that the new origin is now at the mean of the data set. And the axes are rotated in such a way that the new direction is the direction in which the data set has the maximum variance. What we were talking as the coordinate axis X and Y, now we call them as the principal components. The first axis, which goes through the data points with maximum variance is principal component one. And the second principal component will go through the data with the second maximum variance and that will be principal component two and so on. Have a look at both the diagrams which are given on the slide and you will see that both are one and the same. It's just that the angle in which I'm looking at it has been different. So the last diagram that I have achieved now is called the new visualization of data based on the principal components. But why did we take all this trouble? The first reason is to have an improved way of looking at our data set. The same data set, I now look at it in a different way and this different way is going to help me understand the data set much better. Always remember, the data sets with maximum variance and the features with maximum variance give more detail to a machine learning algorithm than features with less variance. This data visualization helps us to look at that direction in which there is maximum variance of the data. Now have a look at the diagrams that are given in the bottom left and in the top left. The same diagram that I have given in the bottom left of the uh, slide, I have removed one axis and I'm showing it in the top left. The, I can pick those principal components that I require and they represent my data set in a manner that shows the maximum variance. So I can have a data set with 10 features. I can convert it into a 
PCA with 10 principal components and then I can decide to use just 5 for further analysis. This is one of the main reasons for PCA and it is called dimensionality reduction.